Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I was on Gun Broker yesterday trying to keep current with the direction of the gun industry and I came across a store on there that had some of their guns listed at over $10,000 and my first reaction was anger but I decided to look into it a little bit more. So this video has two parts. I made the first part that shared the prices and, and what was going on with that gun store figuring that there was a glitch in the system but then there's a part two that tells more of the story so check out the first part that i made and we're gonna come back and talk about the second part but they are selling this for ten thousand three hundred and ninety eight dollars and ninety eight cents so you look at that and you say well that must be a typo because right around four hundred dollars is a fair price for that gun fair or not fair that's the market value so let's go to sellers other other items and here we see a rock island 1911 and 10 millimeter all right it's got a gray cerakote finish so you know there's an upcharge if it has a gray cerakote finish and it's a 10 millimeter all right so made a little bit stronger let's see ten thousand five hundred forty nine dollars and 98 cents once again, $10,000 too much. So there must be a glitch in the system or they're taking the attitude that there's a sucker born every day. And it's rather confusing because you look at some of the other models that they have and they seem fairly priced. All right, here's a Taurus 1911 Commander, $427. Okay, that I can see that. That's, that's a fair price. But over here we have a Taurus TH9C, a lesser expensive gun. And they're selling that for $10,234.98. That has a gray frame. Usually not an upcharge with Taurus guns, you know, the, the frame color. But that's definitely strange. You could buy it now for $10,234.98. So if I click buy now, I think that per gun broker rules, I will be married to that price. That is what I will have to pay for that Taurus TH. 9c let's see there are a couple other ones now I, i'm going to give this gun store the benefit of the doubt and say that that's a glitch in their system and, but there are a lot of places in the gun world various gun stores various parts stores various they they, they take the attitude that there is a sucker born every day and they upcharge at a time like this and, and that's what i'm wondering i'm really questioning the timing of all this Here's a Desert Eagle in 44 Magnum. It is brushed chrome, which is a beautiful finish. And it says, on sale today for the low price of $101,604.98. Now, I know Desert Eagles. I know them very well. <laughs> and this is probably uh, $1,600 to $1,800 and the average price you know that that's that's what it would be and here's a hundred and one thousand dollars here we have a taurus m66 357 magnum seven rounds you save a hundred dollars it says save a hundred dollars which is you know it's on sale save a hundred dollars that's a nice discount when you consider that the price is ten thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety eight cents that hundred dollars doesn't mean so much anymore there's a Ruger Bearcat, 22 long rifle, $10,509.98. But then we see some other ones that are, it seems like every, every third is over $10,000. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought the responsible thing to do would be to contact this store and figure out more of what's going on. And this gentleman explained everything to me in a way that it made perfect sense. So this is what he had to say. And I'm doing this so that you don't get overly excited when you see this online at various other stores because there's a reason behind it. And I also covered up his information with me shooting a CMMG Banshee. This is Dan. Hey, how you doing? I was checking out your store on Gunbroker. Uh huh? And I realize that some of your prices, uh, I'm not sure if it's a typo or something, but some of your guns are over $10,000. I know. That's because Gun Broker's been overcharging me for a year. Okay, so you're doing that intentionally? I could explain it to you, I could explain it to you but you probably wouldn't understand. 
I ran out of that product, so I, I raised the price so I don't have to pull the auction. Because if I pull the auction for a minute and put it back up, they charge me for that whole 90-day period again when they are supposed to. Okay, so it's it's just your way. Uh, so they, they, they charged me, overcharged me about four or $5,000 in the, the last year. Uh -huh. They keep telling me, oh, we aren't doing that. Then they're like, oh, yeah, we are. We'll have to fix it. And they don't fix it, so, to keep my auctions running without having have to repay, I just raise the price on it. And I have a thousand emails a day. Your price is a little high for your price gouging. Well, obviously something's going on if I got it a hundred thousand dollars that I got. Yeah. You know, and I've been doing it twenty four years. So it's not a no, it's not a mistake. Okay. All right. And when the when the uh Right now, I'll tell you what's going on in the gun industry. All the wholesalers are backed up three to four weeks. So yeah. nobody's got product hardly ever. So as soon as I get mine back in, I'll just change the price down to what it was, whatever, 234 or whatever. Okay. I appreciate you explaining that to me. Yeah, all you have to do is watch the auction, and you'll see, it. like, if you put it on your watch list, mm -hmm. when I, as soon as I get the, the product back in, if it comes in, I'll, uh, I'll drop the price back down. Okay. All right. Well, I, hey, thanks a lot. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, people don't realize gun broker makes more per gun than, than we do, the sellers. That's crazy. And then they post like that. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your explanation, right. and good luck to you. All right, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. I hope this gives a little better insight of what's going on behind the scenes at Gun Broker. In many cases, there is gouging going on, stores taking advantage of people during these times, but there's also the rest of the story, and I hope this video explained that in detail that we can all understand to a greater degree. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.